fellow comic book fans, it is Saturday night, and it is time for me to do my reviews of the comics that came out last Wednesday, which would have been the 24th of October, 2018. Let's get started, because I have a few of them. Starting out going from lowest to highest, like I always do. Moon Knight number 200. This disappointed me just because I'm sure I've mentioned this plenty of times. I am a huge Moon Knight fan, but I have not been a fan of uh, Demas' run. And I was going to hold out to 200. And I guess this is his final issue. Uh, this was a huge disappointment. This is just a jumbled mess of a comic. I'm going to just... It was bad. I mean, I... It's hard to follow. I just didn't... It was very, a very unsatisfactory ending to it. The situation seemed forced. Uh, it's just bad. I'm not sure if I want to get number 201. I might, just because if it's a new creative team, I might see creative team, you know, writer and artist, because the art in here was just not good. Uh, I've never thought Spectre looks anything like the Lockley look anything like they were supposed to. Uh, it was just a jumbled mess. I'm, uh, this is not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 1.25 just because. No, I'm glad this guy's run is over, and I hope the you know, artist team goes with him. Next is Action Comics number 1004. I've never really been a big Superman fan. I, I remember reading the John Byrne miniseries when they rebooted it in, what was it, 87? And liked what he was doing with it. Um, I've read the first, you know, Bendis's miniseries, and there's a couple of interesting things going on, like with, uh, with the fire monster and this new gossip columnist going, coming in, you know, who's she working for, what's going on, you know, this lady right here. But I just did this whole thing with Lois coming back. And the inter in this issue, the sorry, the interaction between them. Like I said, I haven't read much, but this did not seem like Lois to me. You know, all the babes and darlings and babe, you know, calling him that, and it just didn't. The interaction didn't seem right. It didn't seem what I know of Lois and you know, stuff. It was. Not good, and I'm not going to be getting this series anymore. I'm going to give that a 1.5 out of 5. Juggernaut Black. Or X-Men Black Juggernaut. Uh, no. So far, the only good one that I've enjoyed was the uh, uh, Mystique one. That one was good. This one no, this was uh, Cain fighting some inner demon to prove that he's worthy. And, you know, I know a lot of these are just trying to, I guess, set things up for the Uncanny X-Men, Uncanny X-Men number one, which is coming out, and so they're maybe resetting things or setting things up. I'm not sure, but this one was... Just boring, and 
again, really blocky art that wasn't good. Who was the artist? Who was the... Thompson was the uh, writer on this one. I just... This is not good. I was going to give this a 2 out of 5. What if Craven had killed Spider-Man? Uh, I remember the issue where Craven hadn't killed him, and then he wound up killing himself, and uh, that was a lot better than this issue. It's, the art was a little better, but uh, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. Detective Comics number 991. Eight more issues after this one. Well, yeah, almost to, to 1,000. This one is pretty exposition heavy. I really don't think they should. Um, this is makes it into that left it wasn't going to a part four. I'm sure, the story could have been two, possibly three issues, but this is going making it go. There's going to be a fourth one after this one. There's way too much exposition going on. Uh, it's just uh, Two Face. Batman and Gordon just talking and talking and talking and then they watch a videotape of them interviewing some dude who used to be in an organization that fought against Checkmate of all organizations. That's how old this, you know, far back they're reaching for this guy's uh, enemies. And I'm just kind of waiting for this one to end. This issue, and so once they can start building up to 1,000. This, I might give a 2.75 out of 5. The Whispering Dark, number 1, by Dark Horse. I knew nothing about this when I picked it up. I just heard something about it in, in a video, a uh, comic haul video, like a couple of hours before I went in, and knew nothing about it when I bought it. But I liked it. It's a, uh, it's about a special ops team stuck behind enemy lines. Trying to reach a, uh, they crashed. Trying to reach friendly territory, and the central character is a female warrant officer who is thrust into command because all the officers are dead, and she is the only one uh, of rank, you know, of highest enough rank. To, she's the lowest. Make the officer to take that can take over, and so it's, it's that, and there's a kind of a supernatural aspect to it. And you know, I'm ex military, I like well done military stories, and this is setting up for a supernatural thing, too. So, and I like you know, supernatural horror stuff. So I'm gonna give this a three five or no, three, I'm sorry. 3.0, and I'm definitely going to recommend it, and I'm going to pick up number two. Wonder Woman 57, which is The Witching Hour Part 4, the second to last issue. Uh, yes, it's, it's up in the stakes. And it leaves off with a very good cliffhanger to lead into the last Witching Hour book, which is going to be the Witching Hour. Uh, uh, 
the art is fairly good. The, uh, it's pushing the story along well. My little interaction between Constantine and Zatanna. Um, I was impressed for most of it. There's certain parts of it that I didn't like, but for the most part, I'm liking the series. I'm going to give that a 3.25 out of 5. Vampironica number 4. I thought this was going to be the last issue. It's not. Uh, it says next issue of the finale for now. Uh, this a good, light-hearted uh, story. I mean, it's, it's got some horror to it, obviously, it's because it's about with the Archie gang, Veronica being turned into a vampire. Uh, and them trying to get things cured. And of course, I love how they do this. They get the swimming pool and have it holy water so they can take out a lot of the vampires that way. And then, you know, stay safe by swimming in the pool. Um, it was good. I'm definitely going to pick up number, number five. I'm going to give this a 3.25. Now, here's one from last week that our store didn't get. So I decided to wait to pick it up on the 24th. Should have been out on the 17th, but uh, Batman number 57. Probably should have put this down a little lower, but uh, it's Batman trying to, it's the conclusion of the, the Beasts of Burden series, where he's going after, I guess he used to be called KGB Beast, now he's just Beast, I guess, for wounding Dick Grayson, and he's... It's interspersed with a fight between the two. We have a fight here, and then we also have the art of a story that is being read to a young child about a uh, bunch of animals going to St. Petersburg to mass, and they get stuck in a hole. And I guess you're intended to think that it's KGB Beast having his father read him the story. And there's not a whole lot of uh, dialogue going on. It's fighting, and it's just them. You see them just uh, oof, 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 arg, arg, you know, just them grunting and you know, in pain from the punching each other, and then you know, interspersed with the story going on. Um, and it comes to an interesting conclusion in the sense that uh, it shows you Bruce Wayne's state of mind about Bruce, and then about what he what. This guy did do a dick. And you know, I'm not. It wasn't anywhere near the best Batman story I've read, but it wasn't the worst. This guy seems to be just doing some weird stuff for filler every once in a while. I am going to give this a 3 5 out of 5. It's probably down from the Van Veronica. Now, last three. Punisher number three. Wow. I mean, I've never read a, read a Punisher series before. But this Rosenberg is doing such a good job. I, mean, I picked up number one just because I wanted you know, Punisher number one, and I read it. And it, you know, it ended with 
and the Miranda, the, uh, geez, the Mandarin getting shot in the, in the eye by the Punisher. And these, the next two are him trying to, Frank Castle trying to get away. And this one picks up at the end of number two with, uh, you know, Frank Castle on a train that's got, uh, he had already fought uh, Power Man and Iron Fist, and he's on a he's on a train. The hand showing up and Daredevil after him, and it's you know there's this kind of a big argument with Daredevil and Frank on how to take care of the hand while they're doing it, and it shows you the two different st- you know styles they do this, and then it, it kind of ups the ante a little bit. Again, with the end of this one, it's just, it's, wow. I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5. This is a fantastic series. If you aren't reading this, get it. Next is Cold Spots number 3, Cullen Bunn. Last one was a little exposition heavy, but this one picks up and it gets the the conflict going between the guy trying to get his daughter back, what's going on with the daughter and the mother, and who's the family. And, of course, uh, the, the creepiness factor is in there, and then all of a sudden at the end, there is just, it's back full bore. And it's just, it's awesome. It's typical Colin Bunn. Uh, typical horror by Colin Bunn. If you aren't reading this, get it. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. And last but not least, Baby Teeth. Number 13, with the, uh, I'm kind of thinking this is an homage to Army of Darkness, I guess, with uh, Bruce Campbell, but I've enjoyed the hell out of this series from issue one. It's, the art is kind of suiting to the story, it's not as crisp and fresh as I'm not going to like it, but this is it suits the story. Um, and uh, always been a big fan of this series, and I think I will. Uh, it's, they're still trying to get young Clark out of hell. And, uh, and they, they uh, meet odds that are Almost impossible to overcome, possibly. But uh, if you haven't been reading it, there are stuff out in trade and get it because it's awesome. I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. All right, that's it for this week. Let me know what you thought of the stuff I got. If you agree or disagree with my ratings, and uh, I will talk to you a little bit later. Bye.